It's Andrew Spaceball and welcome to the first half recap. In this video, in this video, I'll go over the last three weeks of hardways I have done since the end of week recap. Sorry about that, just been busy. And then we'll just go over how the season has gone overall. The biggest surprise in a good way, the biggest disappointments. And then the all stars, and then how we look at the beginning of the second half. Let's take it into the recap. So, the parties over the last three weeks have gone nine and eight. Not good, not bad, not good. Not not good, not bad either, but that's okay. As the parties have dropped out of the wildcard spawn. As the Phillies are the no one see her 50, 62 and 42 record, 62 and 34 record. Stars are the second C with 56 and 41 record. Brewers with a 55 and 42 record. Braves with 53 and 42 record. Connors with 15 and 46. Match foot had a fifth six seed with 49 46. D Vax had a seventh seed 49 48. Parties are in the east seed with 15 48. Remember, only 16, 16 teams in the NL make a playoff. So the parties currently do not have a spot in the playoff, like I said. But we can get back into the playoff picture. But the playoff picture will be tough because. We're currently losing the season series to the Cardinals in the match. We're both ahead of us. The Cardinals will be a bit easier to catch up on as we're running down 2 1 in the season series. So we just need to uh, win a series when they come, when we visit St. Louis in the later year. The match will be a bit tougher as we need to sweep them when the match comes to town on August. The match will tire us, so. I'm not really worried about the D Max. So yeah. And we'll see when you help these old boys the parties need help with trade on it, but that'll be a separate video. Probably next week sometime. Maybe maybe two weeks closer to the trade than I'll be probably busy next week. Um overall the party season hasn't been amazing, but it has been a roller coaster of a season. As the parties since May 26 have gone 5 and 1, 0 and 5, 5 and 1, 0 and 5, 12 3, and 0 and 5. Shout out to Zionis, a computer who posted this on X, aka Twitter. The party's first five game losing streak was a big at the end of April, beginning of May, where we lost the last season last game in Colorado. Then we got swept by three at home. And then we lost the first game to the Reds. The parties haven't had a long losing streak longer than five games. And the winning streak happened in like the late May, I think, or early June. Let's break down the party's work down party work We are 26 and 27 26 and 27 against the Petco and 23 and 21 on the world in the US. The reason why I say in the US and Petco because the parties played two games at Korea and they both counted as a home game and away game. To split the parties work in the wrong. We are 4 17 versus 500 teams or better when we face them. And then uh, we're 12 and 10 versus teams who are below 500 when we face them, Petco. And then on the road, we are 49 versus sub above 500 teams. And then 9 13 below 500 teams on the road when we face them. So Let's now talk about the second half. So the parties will begin the season, the second half of the season, without Davis, Tatis, and Westgrove. 
Dollars and Talks Cheese Week should expect back in August sometime. I thought who knows that she's giving up. They on a restricted list due to a family matter. And it will also be seen this second half, but a very tough world up as we face the going to vote for uh on a in Cleveland for three and then we travel to DC for three again and not only then we travel to Baltimore for three there. Ideally the party should go six and three to get back into the playoff picture, but I expect them to go five and four. It could go worse than five and four. Who knows? It's baseball. Uh, the biggest surprises so far are Pokemon, King, and Water, Emerald. All of them are set low expectations. Mel, especially Mel, who's a rookie and playing a new position. And King is just his first full season as a starter. And Warren, like Mel, but not a new position, is a rookie, so who knows who else is. Them. And then, um, Papa has sucked more of his career, but has done really good this year. And has only changed MVP for the first half. The biggest disappointments have been Kim, Cease, and Bullock. Bullock and Kim are both battling, battling it. I below 250. And she's had an ERA in high threes. She's ERA as of today is a 399, almost a 4 ERA. So, and I expect she sees two fans with two, almost a 2 EA. So, hopefully, um, they have a big session half as was prepared for the playoffs. Lastly, we have five All Stars football, Marilyn Stories, and Tartis. Now, Wise, Tati and Wise won't play in the author game as they coming back from injury. Oh, and then there is something I forgot to add. We do, the parties did call up uh, Don Warnos, and his prediction will be 2 1, Walker 3.63 or 8, 0 6. Uh, let me know how you guys like this video with the mic and if the audio is better. Beyond that, I'll see you guys in my trade video.